If you're on TikTok, you may have seen this fake Mr. Beast ad. If you're watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who will get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Now that advertisement definitely looked AI generated, but enough people saw it online where Mr. Beast actually took to Twitter to warn people about fake AI deepfake videos of him. Because there are low effort fake Mr. Beast ads on YouTube, but there is also more clever AI ads that splice real footage with fake footage. The income sources you have. Well, let's see, we have Beast Burger. Uh, Feastables, Mr. Beast Gaming, Beast React. Honestly, I'd have to like open my bank account and look through it. We build this app, Aviator Flight, where everyone can win a minimum of 1,000. And now there's even fake brand endorsements of Joe Rogan. Shame that many Americans are missing out on this huge $5,200 subsidy. They don't even know they qualify. Now some of these fake advertisements are made by people that have zero understanding who Joe Rogan's audience is. These twins went viral on TikTok for putting this sweat absorbing makeup primer to the ultimate test in a sauna. But again, there are smarter versions that take real footage and splice it with AI generated ad reads. There's a category of supplements that are very interesting, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200. Well, look, that Alpha Grind product is all over TikTok. If you go to Amazon and you type in libido booster for men. And this is now spread to other online influencers as well. We got 4,500 graphs done. Don't get a hair transplant. Just get hairy again fibers. If I would have known about these fibers before I got my transplant. Now, for most people that are somewhat internet savvy, obviously you're not going to fall for a fake Joe Rogan voice telling you to buy a special waterproof makeup primer. But the way these ads have evolved, even I could fall for it because I admit I have taken his advice and bought stuff he referenced on his podcast. And when you look at all these clips channels on YouTube getting millions of views. How easy would it be for someone to make a successful Joe Rogan Experience Clips channel, then just sneakily edit in reference to their Amazon store, their shady website, or whatever they wanted. And someone like me that forgot exactly what Rogan's guest talked about in his last video, and instead of scrubbing through hours of dialogue, I'd search on YouTube and find a clip that had been cleverly edited and not even realize it. Because look how quickly this evolved. Just seven months ago, I covered how easy it is to create crappy looking deepfake AI I, Joe Rogan is starting to scare me, but I mean, look, look at this picture. These are 100% completely fake girls. Well, the mind looks at that and our lizard brain wants to be aroused. And as the girls looked very unnatural, fast forward to just one month ago, they figured out how to make AI models basically indistinguishable from real women. Not to mention the concerns about AI being used to create TV parody chatbots that are all fun and games until they always eventually predict the end of the world. August 12, 2036, heat death of the universe. August 12, 2036, the heat death of the universe. So in just six months, AI technology evolved from funny videos even a Neanderthal like me could make. That quickly turned into AI chatbots becoming sentient and freaking out about the heat death of the universe. Now you don't even need a Tim Foil beanie from decoyvoice.com to know that this is becoming a much creepier problem. When these crappy versions of Mr. Beast are turning into very believable, fraudulent and advertisements that can fool anybody. Combine that with the fact that about six months ago, fake AI presidents playing video games on YouTube would pull in millions of views. And just a few months later, the technology has drastically improved. Look folks, here's the deal. There are rumors from a Chinese whistleblower, Zhi Weibo Chu. You ain't black. If you believe Zhi Weibo Chu, you know the thing. I'll climb stairs, ride a bike better than anyone. And now even Trump is concerned. I've seen pictures of me making statements on the internet that I never made that are horrendous statements. You know, it's like right. you could cause a war with this stuff. Right. right. It's me talking uh, yeah. and saying things that I never said. It's amazing. And it's perfect. I can't even tell the difference other than I know I didn't, say, didn't it. say it. Right. Because yes, it is very easy to tell that Biden video is computer generated, but this technology has only been in the hands of the public for less than a year. In five years, I completely believe the videos will be indistinguishable from reality. But the sad part is, it doesn't even need to be 4K or hyper-realistic. As with everything happening overseas now, people are still falling for footage of a video game and passing it off as actual combat. 
And keep in mind, this is footage from a video game that came out over a decade ago. So although I do have valid concerns over the future of online advertising with all this rapidly advancing AI technology, I think it won't matter when the AI chatbots go rogue and start scraping data from your family's social media, using their audio and video to make FaceTime calls to you, asking you to send them some money real quick. Or even one step further, they could take a page from the creepy YouTube channel Local58. Except in today's age, they would just fake that weird emergency cell phone alert we all got a few days ago, show us a video of world leaders telling us that aliens are here and we all need to load Apple gift cards for them to save the planet. Now I say all this half jokingly because I know you wouldn't personally fall for a fake decoy decoy voice pushing some weird product, but it doesn't need to be good or even make sense for it to work on idiots. As we very recently covered how some people can be convinced that losing their hand will cool the earth. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out that insane video on activists finding out or how the AI chatbots always eventually predict the end of humanity.